Looking to take the next step in growing your business? Want to enter a new world of possibilities for merchandising and tracking product sales with the Seed Suite? It all starts with DEX compatibility. Cantaloupe Seed Platform is a software tool that connects to your machines, allowing you to save time, and it maximizes revenue through sales tracking, merchandising, and smart scheduling functionality. But in order to link your machine to the software, you must have a telemetry device that is able to communicate with the machine board via a DEX connection. This connection enables your machine to send DEX data to Seed Cashless Plus or Seed Pro, depending on which application you're using. Checking to see if your machine is DEX compatible and therefore able to support a software integration is a simple process. It begins with understanding the vending machine hardware. Simply put, there are two factors that determine DEX compatibility on any vending machine model. DEX residency and the machine firmware. First, DEX residency. What does that mean? It means the machine's main board, or VMC, has a DEX circuit that is built into the board. Now, depending on the make and model of the machine, the female DEX port could be soldered directly to the board, or it may be on the end of a cable, known as the DEX harness, which connects to a pin block on the board. With either port type, the jack on the DEX cable from the telemetry device must be plugged into the DEX port to enable the machine to send data to seed. Most major snack vendor boards, such as Crane and Automatic Products, have the DEX pin block and the harness. Many closed front drink machines have the DEX port embedded on the machine board surface. Some machine models have a plate or box to which the DEX port is fastened. Wherever the port is located, to verify DEX residency, open the door of your machine and find the DEX circuit and or the port into which you will plug the device DEX cable. If you have a snack machine that has the DEX pin block but no harness is attached, you will need to order the harness for your model from the manufacturer, a bending parts distributor, or find the part online. If, however, you have examined your machine carefully and you were not able to find a DEX port or the harness, you have three options. You can upgrade the board by replacing it with a DEX resident VMC from the same manufacturer. You can swap the board with a retrofit board kit, or you can replace the whole machine with a newer model. The second factor in determining DEX compatibility is the machine's internal firmware. This is the software that controls all the functions of the machine's activities. If the firmware version running on the machine is too old, the board will not be able to communicate with a telemetry device. So, you may have a machine that is DEX capable, but is still not able to send data to seed due to outdated firmware. Now, there are three ways to determine what firmware version your machine is running. The method you use will be determined by the type of machine you have and the make and model. The first way is to find the EEPROM chip on the board surface and read the firmware version printed directly on it or on a label affixed to the chip. The EEPROM is typically pressed into a socket on the board. EEPROM chips are generally found on most snack machines, particularly models made by Crane and Automatic Products. EEPROM chips can also be found on some drink vendors. To upgrade the firmware with an EEPROM, you will need to pull the chip from the board and insert a new chip with the higher version. The second way to discover the firmware version on your machine is to look at the machine's display window. Many drink models will reveal the firmware version the board is running when the machine is powered up and it runs its self-test. For most drink machines, upgrading the firmware means you will need to replace the VMC with a board that has the newer version on it. The final way to determine your machine's firmware version is to go into the machine's service mode and search for a menu that includes the machine model specifications. Most vendors will have a section in the service mode that lists the firmware version the machine is currently running. To learn how to find the firmware this way, contact the machine manufacturer or consult the machine's user manual. So, when you find the firmware version on your machine, how do you know it's too old to support DEX communication with a telemeter? Well, there are a couple of ways to do that. First, you can contact the manufacturer of your machine and ask them for the minimum firmware version required to make the machine DEX compatible. Then compare that version with the one running on your machine. Or, you can contact your sales rep here at Cantaloupe. We will work with you to identify the minimum recommended firmware version for your specific machines. Discovering your machine's DEX compatibility is the first step towards scaling your business with Seed. If you find that your machine is indeed compatible, 
we encourage you to contact your sales rep to see how Seed can help you meet your business goals. If you find that your machine is not compatible, either because of DEX residency or outdated firmware, and you want to upgrade your machines, we look forward to assisting you however we can. Please reach out to your sales rep to get started. Thanks for watching.